All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. Uh, the name of the video is Why This Animal is a War Crim. Let's, let's just say that, All right? Uh, let's check it out. And uh, this is coming from um, Casual Geographics. So you probably saw the title of this video and wondered out of all the animals i've talked about okay yeah this is the animal that he hates the most but on here what could Let's possibly be such a menace that it not only gets its own video but a kind of but not really yeah, clickbait title unless of course i ruin badger. the suspense by putting the animal as a thumbnail in which case this intro is pretty much pointless anyway yeah, this, yeah you did this is a video about an animal i personally believe not nearly enough people acknowledge and just for the record this is not a honey badger video okay but it kind of is so imagine we took honey badgers, right? Gave them swimming lessons, injected them with growth hormones, and just to see the world in flames, taught them how to operate as a fully functional gang. Basically, imagine <laughs> roided up breast-stroking felony weasels with mob mentality and homicidal tendencies. But you don't have to imagine, because that animal actually exists. Right. If you haven't guessed it by now, I just gave you the police description of the South American giant river otter, and I was not kidding about them being honey badgers on steroids. Because first of all- Oh, okay. For some reason, I saw the thumbnail and I was like, that's obviously the honey badger that he always references as being an absolute uh, menace to society. But apparently, no, there's another one. Didn't, all right, let's check it out. The South American <laughs> giant river otter. And I was not kidding about them being honey badgers on steroids. Because first of all, the largest ones can reach six feet in length. I'm only six feet when I'm lying and on Tinder. But like all criminals, to really understand why this demon water weasel is the way it is, you have to look at its family. Others belong to Team Mustilidae, a family reunion that includes some of the most disrespectful things on four legs. Go to a Mustilid cookout and in attendance, you'll find an animal that once put a whole polar bear out of commission, one that reportedly attacks much larger animals by biting and robbing the family jewels, and this little guy. I don't know, man, he seems kind of cute. They murk animals ten what? times their size oh. by chasing them into exhaustion and taking them off the census with a devastating bite to the back of the skull. I want you to remember that fact, it's gonna be important later. I'm not going to bore right. you with a whole biology lesson, but the muscle family, you know, wolverines, otters, badgers, and stoats, are all part of the carnivore suborder called Caniforma. And Caniforma, Caniforma. are basically just dog-like carnivores. Some yeah. members you might actually recognize, there's candies like domestic dogs, wolves, coyotes, and the fox. But some decided to take their talents to the water, resulting in the pinniped group, which includes seals, sea lions, and walruses. Since there are no drug tests in the wild, some started ju- That's not possible, juicing, bro. Which is why bears are the largest <laughs> terrestrial predators on the planet and the most brawlic members of the Caniform suborder. But mustelids don't have the strength of bears or the intelligence of wolves and dogs, so they had to overcompensate by being nature's version of short person syndrome. Which is why honey badgers will g-check a pride of lions right in their own hood. Same reason why oh, wolves they don't will pick care, fights for animals guys. in a much higher weight class and still somehow not feel like the underdog. Which finally brings us to this thing. There's several flavors of otters found all over the world, but they all share one very important thing in common. They can swim, they're very good at it, and best believe they make it everyone's problem. Otters have a streamlined body, most have webbed feet, and both river and sea otters can hold their breath underwater for about 8 minutes. Otters also have a protective layer of guard hairs to help keep the inner fur dry. That and the fact that they have some of the densest fur on the planet is why they can spend all that time underwater without getting clapped by hyperthermia like we would. It's also the reason otters, especially sea otters who rely on their insulating fur to survive, spend hours grooming and washing themselves. But if swimming was the only like thing that made these overgrown river face. weasels special, this wouldn't be a video. Nah, giant river otters are 100% affiliated. Unlike <sighs> basically the rest of its muscle family, giant river otters are social and can roll up in gangs of up to 20. We're talking about 20 vicious furry gangbangers that each can be the length of a grown man. And out of all the otters, it's the ones found in the Amazon that are by far the most on site. Using their numbers and teamwork, these waterproof wolverines will jump anything that ends up in their territory without a permission slip. And yes, that includes humans. Also, they're literally a threat to us. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's not impossible to see That's reports of river funny. otters assaulting people for the simple That's... crime of existing in the same lake or river as them. One woman was kayaking down a river in western Florida when she saw a river otter that she thought was cute. After in it lunged Florida? and mauled her face, it became a lot less cute. Serious right. otter attacks on humans might be rare, but it seems like at least once a year someone gets put on a headline after getting severely vibe tested by one. The most aggressive and homicidal of them all are the giant river otters of the Amazon, but granted, it's for a pretty good reason. Giant the, river otter have to share an area well, yeah, with top okay. predators like the jaguar, yeah. the black caiman, and the anaconda. When your neighborhood looks like that, your only right. real option is mandatory. war. Violence mandatory. Violence may not be the answer, but life is multiple choice. And they'll use gang violence to intimidate much larger animals that would probably one-shot them if they were alone. If a jaguar can catch a river otter on its own, it's a GG, but with the numbers advantage, otter mafia can effectively drive off even the most motivated jaguar. This is especially true in the water, where they basically have a home court advantage because in the water, river otters are much quicker and more agile than the bulky big cat. Which is why an apex predator that literally claps caiman, 
can end up getting humbled and straight up humiliated by a hood of otters. Speaking of the Cayman, probably nobody's more of a victim than this smaller cousin of the crocodile. Because not only will a gang of otters jump a Cayman and attack it from all sides, they often won't hesitate to eat the Cayman alive once it stops struggling. Remember how I said the stoke can take down prey oh, 10 oh. times its size by exhausting it and biting the back of its head? Guys, the animals that decide not to, like, put the other animal out of its misery, guys, those animals seem to be the most savage consistently. To the point where you're literally attempting to eat the animal while it's alive, guys, that's wild. That is exactly how giant otters can make a caiman's entire existence a living prostate exam. As a cold-blooded reptile, caiman run out of energy quickly. It's the reason crocodiles and alligators are ambush hunters, since they don't have the speed or endurance to run their prey down. So by mauling the caiman from all angles, it doesn't take long for the reptile to stop working. It's called in a reptile dysfunction. Once the caiman finally gives up, the otters will put it out of its misery with a finishing blow to the caiman's weak point. The back of reptile its head. All this while sounding like Rugrats if the show took right. place in hell. Once the caiman becomes yeah, they sound like tends, the otters playing. will use razor sharp jaws to tear the reptile apart and eat it. They're cousins with wolverines for a reason. Now, if you feel bad for the caiman, giant otters will usually do this to defend their pups, since the caiman will snatch up any unaccompanied minors if they get the chance. But of course, being black air forces with fur, sometimes they'll harass the caiman just for wandering into the wrong side of the river wearing the wrong colors. The giant river otter is a lot of things, but they're not prejudiced, which is why the caiman isn't the only body that these psycho weasels will take. You know those snakes that we call anacondas? Giant otters will turn the small ones into a leather right. handbag. You know those fish that are kind of famous for being able to undress a whole ass cow down to the bone in minutes? Piranhas. Yeah, about that, these prison ferrets turn piranha into fish fillet. Turtles, you'd think they'd be safe, right? You'd think having a shell would protect them from no, the audacity no, no. of the satanic hell spawn. Of course not. Nobody gets a pass. No, not this that isn't technically a giant river otter, but god damn. And of course, you can take an otter out the hood, but you can't erase the thoughts of homicide coursing through its little otter veins. Really cute fun fact, once at the Bronx Zoo, a monkey messed around and ended up in the living room of a family of Asian small clawed otters. The otters proceeded to surround the panicking monkey and drown it, all while both the other monkeys and the people <laughs> at the zoo watched oh, in both no. shock and horror. Ain't that some sh- At a zoo in the UK, a gang of otters attacked, deleted, and ate a tamarind that fell into their pond. Golden lion tamarinds are endangered. When you're talking about a group of animals care, that are related bro. to a social that literally went viral for giving less shits than Miralax, there are no exceptions. Otters believe in equality, meaning anyone can equally get the smoke. For those cute little comments that think I'm being overly dramatic about how morally bankrupt otters in general are, I'm not going to explain this picture, I'm just going to let the comments do it for me. And I think it goes without saying, but if they can step to literal murder with whiskers, or a slightly nerfed crocodile, they have no problem attempting to send a human back to their family in a box. Oh. Run, bro. How fast are they on And land? honestly, just the crime of being alive and breathing in their territory is all you need to trigger a furry temper tantrum. Go <laughs> get out of that water right now. Yeah, there's a reason I keep referring to them as a gang. They're basically the crip weasels of the Amazon. They have no rules, no church, no morals, and absolutely no to give. Those are the eyes of an animal that is not afraid to go back to hell. But you ought to be careful if you are. I'm so sorry. You ought to. For those of you that want to disregard <laughs> this entire video because you think they're cute, that's cool. No, seriously, I completely understand. They said the same thing about Ted Bundy. Just like this came in this video has come to an end. I write, record, and edit these videos all by myself. I'm not complaining. I could be doing way worse for my time. But if you'd like to support this content and my channel, my Patreon is going to be in the description. Becoming a patron gives you access to videos. Also, really quickly, guys, his Patreon is absolutely amazing, though. So if that's your thing, check it out. Um, but here's the thing. So now I never uh, would have thought that these absolutely beautiful animals were such menaces. I mean, obviously, they had teeth, um, you know, and from what we've been learning from Casual Geographics himself, uh, a lot of these animals are absolutely atrocious. Uh, they're not... Uh, Oh, guys, their society is, is just different than ours, right? Obviously. Um, the things that they find fun to do, like what dolphins do to other animals, uh, you know, it's not really fun to the other species, you know? But now, but let's just stick, let's just stick here, though. Let's, let's just stick here. Mm -hmm. He has definitely defined no 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 <clears throat> he has definitely went out when uh, nope 
he has definitely went over other animals that seemed a lot worse than this one, right? Absolutely. But I can understand. I mean, listen, it's this thing that can swim very fast. I have no idea how fast it is on land. Uh, it has the ability to to delete some of the scariest animals in the Amazon. Yeah, that's frightening. Okay, absolutely. Um, but is this the worst of them? I don't know, guys. I don't know. You know, I thought the honey badger was the worst based off of all of the things that he has always said pretty much consistently regarding it. I thought that honey badger had to be the worst, uh, one of the worst animals on this planet, guys. But all right, we learn something new every single day, obviously. But uh, listen, um, let me know in the comments on the next thing from him that I should be checking out that I have not encountered, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right, and listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.